All right, we're going to talk about using functions with e in them. And in a second, I'll get into what e is and why in the world we're talking about it. Um, but first, let's recap a little bit. What's the benefit of putting money into an account that compounds interest more than once a year? Now, if you compound your interest, if you calculate it more than once a year, you're going to earn more money. The benefit is you'll earn more money. Now, you'll earn more money the more and more you compound it. And so if we compounded it so quickly, if we compounded it every second or even every millisecond, could we make a million dollars off of just a one dollar investment after one year? Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. So one dollar investment. So let's write our, um, write our equation here. Let's consider one dollars and let's, let's assume we even get a hundred percent interest on it, which would be awesome. Um, so that's how much do we get? A is after one dollar invested with our principal and one plus our interest rate is a hundred percent so we're gonna move it twice and that's just gonna be one over our n raised to the n and we're saying just one year and so t is gonna be one as well so weekly n is gonna be fifty two daily that's gonna be three sixty five three hundred sixty five days you can say point two five if you want to take into account that extra quarter of a day for the leap year, right? Um, hourly, and we'll calculate these as we go. So hourly, um, how many hours are there in a year? Well, we have 365 days times 24 hours in a day. So that's 8760. Every minute, well, if we multiply that by another 60, almost makes you want to sing 525,000. 600 minutes, and then if we multiply it by another 60, we get the amount of seconds. So there's the 31 million seconds. And so we're gonna we're gonna plug this in. Uh, it didn't help. All right, we're gonna plug this in. One plus our interest rate of 1 over our 52 raised to the 52nd power. That's 2.69, um, 2.693. So we have two dollars and actually let's, yeah we'll just keep the 2.693 even though it doesn't make as much sense and then raise it to the 365 so we divide by 365 raise it to the 365 power 2.715 now 87.60 divide by 87.60 raise to the 87.60th power 2.718 500 25,000, 600 minutes, Two point seven one eight again. And so it looks as though we're getting a, a cap here. We're not going to be able to go higher. 31 million, 536, 1, 2, 3. 31, 536, 1, 2, 3. And so this 2.718 is is sort of what it's approaching. We're, you're never going to be able to make more than $2.72 if the bank rounds up for you, which they do. What is E? E is this number that we're getting closer and closer to. E is approximately, on your calculator, if you see on the division sign here, it says E right above it. So if you hit second and then the E button, it'll give you sort of what we came close to, 2.718. And what happens is, as you continue to make n higher, 1 plus 1 over n raised to the nth power, if you make n go to infinity, 
and that's the limit. This is a little bit above what we're doing, but limit as n goes to infinity. So the number that we're getting closer and closer to, the number that we're never going to actually touch but we're going to get close to as n goes to infinity is e. That's how e is defined by this. It's discovered by a guy named Euler. Kind of looks like Euler, but as far as I've been told, it's pronounced Euler. And so that's just the number we're going to be using. It shows up a lot. It's called the natural number. And so it's a number, it's, it's an irrational number, just like pi. Um, so we can't write it as a fraction, but it shows up quite a bit. First thing we're going to do is just mess with it kind of like it was a variable uh, and simplify some things. So 3e to the negative second and e to the negative to the sixth. And so just like you would if this was x squared and x to the sixth, you would add the exponents. So 3 times e to the fourth power. And so we're just using properties of exponents. What's going to change a little bit here is think if you had x to the fifth divided by x squared. You would subtract those two exponents to get x to the third. Now you have e to the x divided by e to the first, and so you're going to have e to the x minus 1. Subtract the two exponents again. And the 2 is disconnected from the e, so you can write it like this, or as 1 half e to the x minus 1. Either one of those, it doesn't matter. More adding of exponents here, because all the bases are the same. And so we have e to the 6 plus x plus a negative 2x. And so we have e to the negative x when you combine those two together plus 6. Or you could write 6 minus x. It really makes no difference. And this cube applies to both of these. And so you have 1 half cubed and e to the negative ninth. And so we take care of that by multiplying it just like we did before. 1 half cubed is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. And so that's 1 over 8. And the e to the negative ninth we bring to the bottom and we write e to the positive ninth. So that's nothing new. We're just utilizing properties of exponents, adding and subtracting and then combining like terms when we have to. All right, so let's keep moving. We've already pointed out our, um, our calculator has an E button. And so our E to the fifth power is 148.4. and our e to the negative 1.5 is 0 0.223. Why don't we just carry out the first one to three decimal spots as well? 413. And we'll catch up in the next video.